when it comes to education and learning, persuasion is necessary because engagement's critical. No engagement, no training, no, no, no change occurs. Right. That's not very different than sales. And in order to engage somebody, there really is some pretty basic rules about what the brain pays attention to. So the same approach that I'm going to take to a sales presentation at its core is no different than the presentation I'm going to give to my college students because I need them to be engaged. A generous presenter uh, is, is giving of their attention, uh, is giving of their time, of their skills, of their knowledge and wisdom. A generous presenter has thought ahead about what value they're going to deliver to that audience. How do we improve understanding, recollection, and adoption using PowerPoint? And it's certainly not open up PowerPoint and make slides. That's not where it's at. Every evolutionary step forward in communication has been to get us closer and closer to an at-a-glance society. And, and I think there's some technology that's coming out to help. I, I haven't seen yeah. it a lot personally, but I think doesn't Microsoft have sort of a self-rendering type tool or something? It, it does. And uh, that, has, that has pros and cons. Everything's going to have pros and cons. If we say we have an innovative solution, then our proposal or our presentation better look like it, feel like it, smell like it, taste like it. So at first glance, they go, wow, this is different. And then we say, oh, by the way, our, our solution is innovative. They go, I can see that. And then they start reading it. 